Hey, hi, welcome to this tutorial. We'll focus on the audio tracks of the timeline part of MadMapper today in this tutorial. So first thing I want to do is create something. I put it on screen and let's say I just want a white, a white something. I put it there and now I open the timelines. Uh, okay, open the timelines um, and montage track I don't need so far. And now what I'm what I want to do is just uh, grab a audio track, audio something. This is AF it takes wave, also MP3, any kind of formats. I will just drag and drop it into MadMapper. It goes there. Let me put it back at the beginning. Let me zoom. I will adjust it like uh, like that. This is, uh, it's on the frame. Okay. Let me put it there. And I will make it a little bit bigger so we can see something. And I will hopefully change the color. Okay, so now I have this. Let me change the, the name and call it a uh, song one. Okay, that's the first song. If I go there, uh, if I play, let me just check if I have the right... Uh, output in my preferences, audio, audio output, uh, I want the speakers. Okay. Okay, so now it's playing back. Great. Each time I press play, because I have this enabled, this option enabled, if each time I press play, it will start from uh, this blue marker. If I want to change the marker, I can just go... Uh, there for for instance okay and each time I press play it will start from this blue marker if I don't use this option uh, it will resume the playback from where it was okay but actually I want I want to start at the beginning each time because I'm working on the loop and it's uh, it's way more convenient okay so now uh, let me just mm, cue something, add it to the timeline, so now I have this opacity. Okay, I have these keyframes. And as you can see here, there are some green marks. And actually, MadMapper generated these green marks uh, for you automatically. And uh, these green marks are uh, actual snapping point. So whenever I make a keyframe, it's very easy to to match the beat because the, the, the snapping points are automatically generated. So now I add a keyframe there in the middle. Boom, I can snap it. So that's very, very, very uh, convenient. So let's say I want to make some kind of a animation. Uh, I will do something like this. Let me just uh, remove this keyframe. So now I have these two keyframes. I right click and make a clip. You know how to do this. And this keyframe, maybe I want a Bezier. So I just select it, click the B on the keyboard. And now I have a Bezier and Bezier. I want my animation to be something like this. Okay, so now... Okay, so now I have this clip. Also, let me re rename it. I will call it beat, boom, or boom, 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 boom. I don't like the color, I want something better. Pinky, pinkish, pinkish is good. Okay, so now I have this boom, right? And I just want to to put the boom uh, right on the on the beat. So now I have this um, these marks that will help me as a snapping points. So if I option click move, it will duplicate it for me. Boom there, boom there. Let me make a few ones. Okay, so now. Great. So this is very quickly done because Mad MadMapper is really helping me uh, with this um, snapping point. So it's, it's very handy. If I select uh, this audio track here that I can rename the uh, sound track by double clicking. If I 
open up the inspector, the track inspectors, uh, well, what I have here is that I can display the waveform as a, as a waveform. I can also display uh, the spectrum. So the, the spectrum is a FFT, uh, a Fourier transformation that shows all the frequency. And it's another way of visualizing the music that's uh, very helpful. Right now I want I use the, the waveform, but in the background I want to display uh, the, the Fourier transformation. Uh, this is very cool because uh, uh, because if I make uh, some other tracks, uh, for instance, okay, um, let's say I want, uh, I want this, and this, and this. So now I have many tracks uh, around, and maybe I have this. So now I don't see the waveform, but if I display it as a background, uh, you can see I still have uh, my audio available as a background. So that's a super powerful, uh, super powerful option. I will just remove uh, this because it was for the sake of the tutorial. And now if I go back here and uh, I remove all these quads, uh, which I don't need actually, boom. Boom. Okay, I'm back. Okay, so I learned how to, to display this as a background. Uh, what is cool, what I can do is, for instance, let me go there. I have my clip and I right click. I split the clip in the middle and I will split it there as well. Okay, I split the clip. Now I've split the clips, I will make another track so now i have two audio tracks let me put that here and this i go back to where it was okay so now let's focus on this one for instance okay i will zoom zoom in a little bit this one i want to mute so i click the m button and now i just playing back this one huh? so let's say i want i want to work on a loop uh, and uh, I want to go uh, somewhere, uh, somewhere, uh, somewhere here. Uh, loop end. And now it's working on the loop, right? And this one, if I open the inspector, you can see I have a bunch of uh, options there. I have the speed. Okay. So I've changed the speed a bit. Nice. Like that. Change the speed a little bit. And now if I double click, um, let's just stop the music for a moment. If I double click here, oops, you see it's adding keyframes. And these keyframes actually are uh, volume keyframes. So. I can make a volume and I can actually make a, some kind of a envelopes uh, like this in this volume keyframe. And of course, uh, this uh, sh should be um, like that, should be uh, changeable to Bezier so I can really uh, sculpt the, the amplitude envelope uh of my um of my audio like this like this Let, let's leave it uh, like that for a moment and now okay so now it's not uh loud enough so i can still uh add some gain okay Very cool, very cool, very cool. So now I have this, these two tracks and one cool option of uh, Mad Mapper is that um, as of uh, this version, it now offers uh, multi-channel audio. So if I go to my preferences uh, application audio, you can see audio outputs. I will not be using the speakers for this demonstration, but I have um, a loopback uh, audio application. It's called Black Hole. It's free to download. I will just use that one and because this one features 16 channels and so that's super cool because let's say this audio track I want to play it back on 
channel 10 of my sound card. So I call it channel 10. This is just a naming, of course. And here, why I select uh, not the clip, but the track. The track here, you can see I have this audio routing and I have these 16 channels and I have the, the input, which is a stereo. So right here, I will go on channel 10 and put it 100% on channel 10 and activate the audio routing. So now this track will only play on channel 10 of my sound card if I, if I were to have a, a sound card with that many channels. And of course, if I press play, you will not hear anything because I, I changed the audio driver, but it's actually uh, sending to channel 10 of my sound card. Okay, it's there. And uh, I could override and use this one as a background as well. So whichever I click it, it will take over and replace the, the, the current one. And now I have uh, uh, nothing anymore on the background. And I think uh, that's about it. And that uh, concludes uh, this tutorial about audio tracks. Thank you very much and see you in the next tutorial.